everybody welcome back to my channel and now we're going to start making our army to start taking on the broodmother now you've probably seen lots and lots of youtube videos on how to do the breeding you've probably seen loads of youtubers say ah oh, you need uh, you need to note things down you need a spreadsheet there's even an app to do it now let me get this straight with you guys um right off the bat if you want the best dinos you possibly can then you need to do that. Unfortunately, that is a thing. You need to go down that whole route of trying to get mutations, blah, 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 blah. If you want to beat the game, you want to beat the bosses, you want to beat the alpha bosses, you don't need to do that, guys. You don't need to go anywhere near that kind of ridiculousness. What you need are pretty high stats, decent saddles, and that does not involve mutations. You don't need a single mutation to beat the alpha bosses so what we're going to do today guys we're going to start off by making ourselves a decent sized taming pen now the taming pen we're going to make makes our life a lot simpler we need to make a taming pen that we can oh right. hello cool we need to make a taming pen that we can take a uh, pretzel the quetzal out pick up anything we want that she can actually pick up bring back and we've got no chance of missing the taming pen on the flyover now that's always a problem because one of the things you're gonna did i pick it up one of the things that you're gonna do more often than not with a quetzal is when you try and drop something it just misses can't place metal floor why why Cut. what nothing could be placed up there okay yeah that's what we're gonna get at least three wide here uh, so we're gonna try to put one there one there one there cool so this is gonna be a really quite a big taming pen what this allows is a huge amount of space so that when you fly over and you drop as opposed to the little two by two taming pens where things can be dropped and they wander back and suddenly they're not in the taming pen this has a good chance of actually going in. So let's take our bird over. Oh, by the way, guys, um, I realized in the last video that because I sped up going into the cave, because the cave was essentially broken, uh, we may have, I may have missed out giving you some vital information. <laughs> um, when I got absolutely spanked in the hard water cave the episode before i came out of the game to stop the recording while i was out of the game uh, a couple of titan bows came up the, the the ramp that i had made and killed feather so we did in fact lose our original argentavis uh so very sad times um but we have replaced feather with feather light so this is a bit like Feather, but uh, half the calories. Huh. <laughs> what more do you need from an Argentavis? All right, so we're going to pop this into here. Now, hopefully the door frame still covers a decent amount. Yep, there we go. Now, there is going to be one part of the door frames that's going to look a bit strange, but there is a very good reason. So we're going to continue... Yeah. Now, when you're flying over with a Quetzal, if you go into cave view and you look down on yourself like this, the angle of drop from whatever it is you're wanting to drop, it it genuinely is not very accurate and you can miss. So because we are three wide in the center one, we're going to go up, up, and if we can, up again. Now, what this allows us to do is that when we fly the Quetzal in, I'll demonstrate on Featherlight here. Pretend Featherlight was a Quetzal. When we fly in and we've got something uh, in our feet, I can just fly right up to this. I know that if my head is either side of this and I can't fly anymore, I can drop whatever it is I've got and it's going to go in. Dead center. So, let's go pick up... Feather, and we're also going to switch to Skyline. Okay, trouble Skyline. Does the Skyline have any meat? She doesn't. 
Maybe a good idea to grab some of that. Well, that's just charming. Just take a big shit on your owner. Gah. After all I did for you, you know, darted you, forced you to be mine via drugs. Oh, this game's got a weird way of making friends. Okay, so <laughs> we're going to take the Scrypod, take Pretzel with us. And we're going to go find some high-level Megatherms. All right, guys. So we've done a little flip around the Redwoods. We nearly did a full circle coming all the way back. We're in the bottom... The, the far right corner, in fact. we got two pretty good ones here. He says, looking for them. Ah, right there, over the tree. So we got a 60 and a 146, I think. There's a 60, 146 male, 60 female. Uh, so the 146, ideal. The 60, too low. Even though that seems really good, you're not going to make a brood mother busting unit with them. So first of all, we need to make sure that we're in a fairly safe place to land. Check in the trees. I think we're good. A dead thing here. Not a good sign. Right. Let's bring her out. Take this. And put her in the cryopod. Alright, we're gonna go jump on Pretzel here. Got a couple of levels. You've got Wow <laughs> Okay. Uh yeah. Can oh what what's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? What's that? Whoa. Can anyone tell why I haven't used her since I got her? Uh good god. Okay. Um num, 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 num. Okay, well let's I do have the movement speed turned on guys because I I just need to get around. Doesn't mean I can actually move a bit better. Stamina is really good. The weight. Maybe let's should we get this up to three. There we go. The health. So in theory, she should never get into any problems. Uh, I think I just want to make her a little bit faster because she's just. She's a quetzal. All right. So now we need to make sure we line up with the right one. So. Hopefully, it's it. there we go. So we're gonna go get down nice and low. Did we get it? We got it. So the great thing about the uh, the Quetzal picking things up is this Mega Theorem is not aggravated. So even when we drop it, it's not gonna go for us. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna uh, make a beeline for home, which requires us to go up a bit. So. Let's clear the trees and make sure those Thycholios don't get us. There we go. And I'll cut back to you guys when we get back to the timing pen. Okay, so we're returning back. We got the Megatherium in hand. So you want to make sure that you come at an angle coming down the way. If you fly straight towards it, there's a chance you might clip the Megatherium on the side. There we go. Whoa, he went on top of us. And he's in. So let's head over here. Go grab the good stuff. Why did I put my gun in weapons? I think I put it in weapons. Okay. Let's grab that out. I really should make a better one. I know I've got a, I've got a thing for it as well, uh, a blueprint. It's just horrendously expensive. Okay, so we've got some of that, and we tame them on purple kibble. So we'll go to our kibble farm, and we'll grab some of that. Because we're taming him on kibble, we probably won't need any narcs, but in case we do, I might go grab some once he's asleep. Okay, oh, hello. <laughs> and then we start putting this bad boy to sleep. Now, these are shocking tranquilizers, so they've got the best chance of putting him to sleep fast. 
We make everything of metal so that he can't damage anything. Shouldn't be too long now. Alright, so that's him running now. Couple more in him, should put him down. Just be careful in case he takes a little fury swipe at you. Wow, given these are shocking tranquilizers, this guy's not going down easy. Is that him? No. Surely this one. There we go. Alright, let's have a look at your stats. So this is this is not bad. A 38225 melee. So this will be Oh, you know what? Yeah, let's not do that. Let's see how many he needs. Right, I'll come back to you guys once he's up. And then we'll go snack ourselves a female, which I'll probably skip over and get straight to the breeding. And then we can start our super army. All right, guys, here we go. We've got the original male. Now, yes, he has been named original male. It's not very fancy, but it keeps things simple. Name the original male and female exactly that. Keeps you right. Keeps you knowing uh, which, <laughs> which ones are which. Because if you get confused, it gets difficult. Now... Very important, when you get your original male and original female, do not put any points into them. Keep these stats exactly as they are, so that when you need a reference as to which one the children are getting, you know the original stats. You're never going to be using the original male or female for fighting, you're going to be using them for breeding. So don't put points into them, keep them the same. So let's bring this guy back inside. Right, sir. Now, you could wait there. That's a bit in the trough. Yes, we do. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go head off, go get a female. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Chuck you out. And if I can't get a female, and you can't seem to find any high level females, start wiping out all of the low level ones you can. Do a loop, go back, and you will find that. Oh, is he still following me? There we go. And you will find that uh, the game will spawn new ones in. So I'm going to head out, and I'll come back to you when I'm on my way back with a female. All right, guys. So we've got a bit of luck and a bit of unluck. We have managed to get a 150 female from the ice biome, but I just flew over some trees. A little too low, which had bugs. She's got the bug buff started off. Uh, so wild ones don't actually need to kill bugs to get the bug buff. They just need to be in the vicinity. So she's going to be pissed immediately, I think. Uh, so I'm hoping that this goes nice and smooth. Drop her in. Yeah, there you go. Oh, oh, what? I have no idea what happened there. Did we pick her up again? All right. I think I could do with making this a little bit longer. Okay, let's try that again. Forward a bit more. More. Drop. Oh shit, the door's open. Oh no. Um, 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 um. Is the bug buff off? I think the bug buff has stopped. Oh, run, 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 run. Okay. <laughs> oh. Note to self. Close the door. Right. Ah, that was close. Right. Let's start. So this girl's going to be a tough one to put down. Now, the fact that she's 150, and this is also important, does not necessarily mean she's going to have better stats than the 146 male. Because the stats that you are interested in is the HP and the melee. If you're not actually riding a dinosaur, stamina, food, and all that kind of stuff, it doesn't really matter if these are just boss fighters. It's all about HP 
and attack. So once she's tamed up, you do want to compare the two and try and uh, make sure you, you, when you get the first child, know which should be the higher one, the higher stats that you're going for. All right, guys, so before we go any further, it's important that you take note of these settings. Now, if you want to go by official settings, or you want to go by whatever the settings are that you've got for uh, breeding your dinos, absolutely fine. If you want the fastest possible way that you can have a baby mature for 100% imprinting, but without the potential loss, this is as fast as you can go. This is as fast as you can go with still giving you a decent amount of time to actually sort out what it is they want. So take a quick note of what we got here. And then we're going to head back in. Now those particular settings for the Mega Theorems will give you one imprint. And not so, so one thing that he'll want, be it a cuddle or a kibble or whatnot, that one thing will give you 100% imprinting, but you have got to be quick. So what is important is that in your inventory, you have at least one of each of the berries, one of each of the kibbles. Now, you will not have extraordinary kibble unless you do, and you're lucky and you've been, you've either got a Hesperonus or uh, eggs from a Uteranus to make it. If you do, fantastic. If you don't, have a cryopod ready, because if you cryo him up and uh, chuck him out, he'll change his decision. Now, from the point that he gets to needing care to the point that he's 100% matured, you've got about a 10-second window. So you've got to be quick with doing this. Otherwise, just slow the maturing speed down until you're at a point that you can handle it. Okay. So, we've got our female... And we can see, if we go into the female, uh, so, first of all, you want to make a note. So, she's got 6,680. He's got 5,400. So, when you have a baby, you want that health. However, and this is where the tricky bit comes in, she's got 378 melee. He got 427. You want his melee. So, it's always a pain when it happens. Um, if you had two parents, I identical that is the absolute sweet spot but we want to try and get the best of both so he's on ready to breed so we are going to put her on enable mating now something that is very important here guys as well imprint on the child the second it's born the baby starts maturing immediately when it's born if you are there to imprint on it as soon as it comes out that gives you the maximum window for getting the imprint right for when he wants it if you leave the baby it will mature you won't get to imprint at all so that is super super important you can see that the mating goes really really fast with the settings we've got then she's going to uh get the gestate is it ready i think i pronounced that right and that'll only take like a minute while we're doing this i want to show you the blueprint for the saddle that we've got. Now, this is where things get a real pain in the ass for making this army. So, we have a fantastic 138 armor uh, saddle. But look what it requires. 14,500 hide per saddle. 4.4 thousand cement. 2,500 thousand metal. It's these saddles that you just can't skip out on. You can't quick these. You need to farm the materials. And you will either, probably looking at the amount of stuff that requires, you will either need a tech replicator, maybe, if you can't fit everything into your smithy to make one. Or you will need to go into the settings and allow things to be stacked in higher quantities. I would prefer that one because you can't get a tech replicator until you beat some bosses because you need element. And on this map, there's no chance of getting that. Right, so we've got the baby coming out soon. I hope I'm going to get enough space to, to 
imprint. I'm going to lay on the floor just to make sure. Baby. Baby, 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 baby. Oh, 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 sorry, of course, she's just, yeah, gestation. Wow, look at me, professional. Okay, so this will be really, really quick. So we've only got 40 seconds till she pops out, or he. And then we're going to be looking for the stats. Now, if this baby has the lowest stats of the HP and the lowest stats of the attack, then you're not using it. If it has the higher stats of the opposite sex to what it is use it so ie if it has dad's uh attack uh, but it's a female you want to breed her with dad i know that sounds terrible but that means that the lowest attack they can get is the same attack and it will be the higher one so here we go so baby gonna pop out soon baby lay on the floor imprint there we go so we're not going to name it yet because that's not important. Uh, right, you're following. Can you get out of mum's tail? Yes, you can. Okay, right, we'll have you stay there. Right, put some food into baby. And then, very important, go into behavior. Change follow distance to the lowest. So if you need to go on a walk, the minute you whistle, she's going to come after you. So this is a male. Looks... You know what, we'll check in a minute, because you, you, we really can't miss this. So you've got 60 seconds. And we've got all of our stuff ready in our inventory. We've got the cryopod ready, in case he asks for something that we don't have, like Extraordinary Kibble. We should have both the jerkies. We do have both the jerkies. Both the food, both the meats, both the jerkies, all of the kibbles, all of the berries. All right, cool. Right. We're ready. Ready, ready, ready. 30 seconds to go. So you see there's not a lot of wriggle when we're doing this. But this is as fast as you can go. If, you, if you're one of these players that you want to take your time, you want to take hours over this, you go for it. You do this absolutely in your own way. To each their own. I just want to show you guys the fastest way of doing it. Because it's the subject of the video. Mm. So here we go. We've got five seconds. We're on 70%. Three, two, one. If it's a cuddle, fantastic. Cuddle! 100% imprinted. Job done. There we go. And that was on 75%. So we're going to wait. So now we can check. So we got uh, the health was 6.5. What's your health finished at? Uh, uh, the melee, 446. So I think the melee would have gone up. So it didn't get dad's melee. I think it got mum's melee. Uh, mom's so it's another very important thing to remember. You see the level, guys? It doesn't make any difference whatsoever. None whatsoever. It does not impact the game at all. Okay, so we have quite decent health that is actually pretty high health isn't it now what is this this is the male and who had the other high health the female had the high health perfect so we've got high health male high health female so what we're going to do now is i'm going to rename this guy uh change name so this is the breeder male okay now dad is going to be turned off of mating and he's going to be asked to step aside and we're going to ask the new breeder male to come stand next to mum whoa chill 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 easy easy son easy all right guys so we've got a 220 female this time and we're just gonna Hopefully get this right. It's gonna be hey cuddle. So we got six five four four six. Let's go check mum. 
There we go. Right, so perfect. So this now has the better stats the mum has, right? So now what now this is this is it. This is now all you need. You need this female and this male. So we're gonna rename her Options, strange name. So this is the breeder female, right? Female. Yeah, there we go. Now, with these two breeding together, original mum and original dad, you know they've they've done their time. They can uh, they can take a break. We're gonna take you and take you, and we're gonna come out here to make a little more space. Duck? What the hell? Whoa! Okay, well, that was weird. <laughs> Thanks for that, guys. Like, right. over here a bit more. All right, chill, 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 chill! Jeez. Right. So what you're now going to get is when a baby is born, it's not going to have any worse than the best stats. So you're between a melee 446 and a melee 446. You can't get any worse. So you've got the best melee now. When these are born, they're going to be starting off with that kind of stuff. We've got a 6-5 health. And you've got a 6-5 health. So we've done it. We've got the identical higher stats of the best version of both of the parents. So both of these will now make the best uh, possible army. Or, or, well, not necessarily the best because you can start getting mutations. These two will make an army that will be the alpha bosses you then need to work on the saddles so that is it guys that is as hard as it actually gets for breeding you don't need to get more complicated than that you don't need all of your uh, your crazy like spreadsheets and um your your, your what's it called your app and that if all you want to do is to make a boss army and you've seen there with the settings that I've shown you how what to use um, you you get 100% imprinting pretty much all the time uh, as long as you're quick and we've now got the second generation bred up and I'm um, I don't know how long this video is gonna be but I would assume around about the 20 minutes mark and other than flying to and from to get the male and female that's as long as this took so there you go that is the fastest way to get breeding and get a perfect uh, stat line mum and dad to make your boss beating army i hope this was nice and simple for you i hope it showed you a nice easy way of doing this now again guys if you've got your own way that you want to play the game if you've got your own settings i'm not saying it's wrong i'm not all i wanted to do is show you the fastest and the most accurate way of doing it so i want to say thank you very much for watching this video now if you're new to the channel and you want to keep updated with how we're doing with the boss armies going to fight the bosses doing the caves please subscribe to my channel and if you click that bell icon you'll be told every time i stick a new video up and a thumbs up for this video would be super appreciated but until then i want to say thank you very much guys for dropping by Please feel free to leave anything, uh, any questions in the comments or any tips that you found a way of doing it more accurately. And until then, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you very much and goodbye.